What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In this episode, I wanna show you how to install a built-in electric fireplace. The brand of this fireplace is RW Frame. It's one of the best-selling fireplaces on Amazon. These are pretty amazing. You can install these recessed or on top of the wall, basically hanging out of the wall if you want to. I decided to go with the recessed installation because I wanted this to be nice and flush with the wall and as you can see I got a beautiful look here. So in my case this is a 60 inch, these come in 70 inch, 50 inch and 42 inch as well. So in this video I'm going to show you quickly how to install these. It's super easy and simple to install and operate these. In two separate videos I also explained how to make this beautiful fireplace wall and that mantle. In case you're interested the links are going to be in the descriptions below. Before I get to the installation part, in one quick minute I just want to explain how this fireplace works so you can see all the options. In case you haven't ordered one, you can see how it looks like close up and kind of know the functionality of it before you purchase it, in case you haven't. So this is a 60 inch RW flame fireplace that we got it off of Amazon for a very fair price. I used to be a very big fan of uh, Napoleon brand but their quality dropped down by far and their prices are going up a lot so we decided to go with this one and I actually like it. This one comes with a very good little uh, small remote that you can turn on the fireplace with and then it has also different types of uh, color changing options that you can change. That bottom color can be changed. Let me show you all the colors that you can see. The blue, purple, white, orange, blue, green. And then also that flame changes colors and speed as well. It, it goes faster or slower, more reddish, more orangish and more bluish. It also has a heat setting. It's pretty good for about 400 square foot area and the heat is pretty well actually. I really like the heat amount that comes out of this one. It looks pretty good. It's very nice and it also has those little touch a screen over there that you can touch and operate the whole fireplace from there as well. After opening the box there's an electrical connection between the glass and the actual fireplace that needs to be unhooked first. I put the fireplace facing down on top of a blanket so it doesn't get scratched up and then I remove this little bracket there's two screws one on this side and one on the other side both these screws need to be removed because I'm going to be using it as recessed and built in. Now as you can see that bracket is completely removed from the back. Again because I wanted this fireplace to be built in inside the wall so I made this opening for it. In a separate video I explained how to make this wall design and that opening. In my case this is a 60 inch TV so the opening for this one is 55 inches wide by 17 inches height. In this case it's a slightly bigger than the actual fireplace size because I want to have a little bit of wiggle room around it. The actual thickness of the fireplace is three and a half inches and the framing that I used here is two by four which is three and a half inches also. As you can see I'm installing some pieces of wood on the back side of the framing so this way when I put this electric fireplace in place I can screw it right to these and this way it doesn't fall back. Because the electrical cable comes from the right side of the fireplace, I lift a little bit of opening in that brackets that I installed at the back of the framing. So this way when it's installed, the wiring doesn't get pinched. For the left side, I'm going to put this piece of 2x4 behind here and I screw it in a few spots. So it's time to install the actual fireplace. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it in and push all the wire to the back. Then I'm going to lift it up and put it in place. I'm just going to feed the wire so it's not, it's not pinched in there. There you go. 
and before you screw it in place make sure it's working there's two screw holes on both sides of the fireplace you just need to put two smaller screws and it's going to be installed Now the fireplace is installed in the opening, it's time to remove the zip ties. After removing the zip ties, I double checked to make sure the fireplace is working and then I got myself a nice microfiber cloth and cleaned up the entire surfaces before I actually put the crystals in. This fireplace came with two bags of crystals with it. There's a nice and clear tray on the bottom part of this fireplace where you can put all these crystals in it. It takes forever, just take your time. This part of the video is a hundred times faster. As you can see, I had to install some of these one by one. So it just takes a little bit of time. Just be patient with it and make sure it's all nice and even throughout. There's two slots on both sides of the fireplace and on the back of the glass you have two metal hooks like these ones. All you need to do is to lift this glass up and put it in place. But before you do that you have to make sure that you connect this electrical and then tuck it nice and neat inside the fireplace and then lift up the glass and put it in place. I cleaned the inside of the glass before installing it but I forgot to film it. It's a lot easier if you're two people and trying to do this. Basically, you need to line up those slots with those hooks, lift it up a little bit, and then once it sits in place, push it all the way down, and it kind of gives you a click, so that way you know it's in place. At this point, the fireplace is installed. Let's see how it works. As you can see, it looks fabulous. It's time to clean up the outside glass now, and you're ready to go. I move the camera a little bit closer so you can see it a bit better. You can use this touch screen to adjust the colors or the heat setting or whatever basically options that is available for this fireplace. You also have that little remote that you can change all these colors, the heat settings and whatever you need basically to operate it. The color options are amazing. As I said again, the color for those crystals can be changed. The background colors could be changed. The flames colors could be changed. And the heat amount that this fireplace produces is unbelievably good. So overall, I really liked it. I give it 10 out of 10. It's my favorite fireplace from now on. I will definitely install this in my own house. I hope you found this video helpful. If it was, please make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. I have other videos explaining how to make this beautiful fireplace wall design. And I also have another video explaining how to make that mantle above this fireplace. Also, if you're interested, I have a lot of other wall designs and renovation related videos. If you're new here, please make sure you become a part of this family. There's a lot of new videos coming. Till next time, thank you very much. Peace.